Monday. Oh my gosh. Happy, happy Monday. Today happy Monday. It's an amazing day. This is going to be a fantastic week. It is. I mean, we just, we're excited about all the things that the Lord is doing. It's an awesome day. Today. Storm headed our way because we're based in just outside of Tampa in Florida. And of course, we've been sitting here talking about rebuking the storm. So anyway, it's not going to come near us. Peace be still. On top of, we're sitting around all of this. Yeah. Speaking of a storm, we're a storm already we're hit us. Homeless on the rolling. <laughs> <laughs> you guys saw that on the opening. Um, if you watched last week, we did a little rolling on some of the construction we're under, but we're redoing the whole set here. And as you can see, it's just, it's in shambles right now. So give us a few weeks. We're going to work really hard the next two weeks. Hopefully have this thing done we're and looking beautiful again. Really hard. And when Rob says we're working real hard, he means him. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. Him and Lori, yeah. that's what you need yeah. to know. Exactly. But so it's know, definitely under like construction. This. We kind of, I, I feel like we do thrive under these oh, kind yeah. of conditions because this is not the first time we've built one set or two sets or three sets or four sets or we've done five sets so it's like we've done i mean it's it's fun it really and everything we're doing we're doing in god's excellence we pray and god gives Ooh. us ideas and he gets glorified for it so so i, I do have a quick graphic for you look at this this is from last week last i think this was friday you see how big our studio is and then we have our prop shop in the back where we do all the construction so that is from my iphone i took thirteen thousand oh. steps that day just yeah. doing construction. The average American does about three to 4,000 steps. Crazy. You can see, of course, it's our little Christian fitness tips of the day about how advantageous walking is for you, but it helps prevent heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, depression, anxiety, and improves your sleep. So during really construction that day, yeah, yeah, definitely. 13,000 <laughs> yeah. steps, which is a little over five miles. And that's just inside the building here, doing right. construction, you know, walking back and getting things and back and forth and back and forth. Except you have to wear your phone. Yeah, so you I did have, have my to phone on phone. to get that. Right. And, um, but doesn't it have to be in your pocket or something? Yeah, yeah I had it in yeah. my pocket. Yeah, you have to have it in your just pocket. Just get a watch or something. Yeah, I could That's get a Fitbit or one of those. But anyway, I thought that was That's kind of fun. Steps. That was my encouragement. Yeah, so if you want to come help us build the studios, you can get 13,000 steps in. It'd be a Christian <laughs> fitness episode <laughs> and rebuild the studio. So there you go. It's a lot of work, but we love it. Hey, this weekend, you'll see Lori and I are wearing our fun little shirts. And there's a reason oh for that, my which goodness. we will reveal in a second. But uh, Pastor had one of his close friends come into town this weekend, Catherine Mullins, amazing, amazing worship leader. And if you aren't familiar with her, I cut a couple of songs together real quickly, just because you, you probably sang these in church or know of these. But here's a couple, couple of quick clips of some of her music. I mean, really, She's it awesome. is wow. She's awesome. She and her husband tour together. So having a concert at our church, which was just amazing. Oh, we're um, talking about steps. We were looking at Lori's oh, phone. Just during the worship time of service off. on Friday night, I think she had like 4,000 or 5,000 steps just during worship. Just during worship. I mean, we played some of her slower stuff, but yeah, Catherine, she it was really hilarious. pick it up. And, anyway, it was a lot of fun. And that is where we got our T-shirts from fun. church. But the reason we wore it, it's not just a smiley face. You have to wait to turn around and let worship. people see the back of it. Is that great? What does it say? It says, Jesus loves you. That's cool. Simple. Just look, let Pastor James see it. Boom. I love that. I mean, these, these pictures are so, I mean, how can you not see a happy face and not smile? Let alone just see someone with a happy face. 
and someone smiles at you, it really compels you to want to smile. That's the love oh, of God. I love God. emojis too. So yeah. You're wearing yeah. an emoji. Oh, totally. an emoji. I love the it. Oh, Jesus so loves cool. you. Well, so I, cool. Hey, a little backstory on that. You know, when I was going through um, colorectal cancer five years ago and radiation and chemo and all those things, it is so brutal going through that chemotherapy. I mean, you feel like you're going to die. You're basically being poisoned. They tell you either the chemo will kill you or it'll kill the cancer, one of the two. So <laughs> which is it going to be? But we always looked for the goodness of God. Every day. That was, that was our purpose. Wow. Every, Every morning day. when I woke up, I'm going to look for the goodness of God Every today. Day. I don't care where it is, how it is. It would be a sunrise, you yep. know, drive into the Moffitt Center. Right. It would be whatever it was. One day, and I know people say, you know, you don't look for signs, but one day it was a bumper sticker. I had just gotten done with the treatment. We're driving back home, mm -hmm. and, you, you know, Lori had to drive because you feel like garbage. And I look in front of me, and this guy had a bumper sticker that says, Jesus loves you. And I'm, that ministered to me. A bumper wow. sticker ministered to me in the midst of that storm mm -hmm. and that trial. So when I, you know, when I saw these shirts, I'm like, man, that that's that was my story. Come on. So imagine man. somebody thinking, you know, nobody loves me, or man, I wish Jesus would just speak to me sometime. They see the back he of the shirt that Jesus loves yeah. you. Love it. It can yeah. change somebody's day, man. So, Wasn't anyway. that the day that we were driving and we saw three different stickers on yeah. the car? One was Jesus loves you. Jesus is with you. I mean, there were it, there were and, and no, we don't look for signs, but those were signs because we were looking for the goodness of God every single day. That was our purpose. We woke up in the morning and that was what we purposed on seeing God doing something really good. So, yeah, so he got so excited when he saw that. Yeah, we got to get a couple of those, wear them, wear them on the show and give a little testimony about them. <laughs> All right, big week coming up. Oh, no, we have a good news story first. Oh, this oh, is Pastor, such you'll a love good this. You know, story. We, Stephen uh, helps us produce the show and does graphics for us, but he found this story from Spectrum Sports on a... Vancouver Canucks goalie. Ooh. I love this. It's Martin has taken advantage of freedom. Goalies have in, indoctrinating their mask to paint a cross and a reference to the Bible verse Jeremiah 29 on the back of his. Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and to not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And this is what he says. Gosh, I love that. He says, I have had different verses on my mask before, he says. Jeremiah 29 is like God's going to have a plan for me, and that's going to prosper me. It's like he's already been down that road for me. So, the kind, so that kind breeds confidence into my life and then into my game that I can be at peace with that. When he asked about whether he prays, he confirmed before games, during games, after games, in my life, in any struggles, and for any highs that you do have, but during a game, it's just asking him to be with me in any situation, whether you're winning or losing, help me play my personal best. I think that is awesome. I love it. Winning or awesome. losing. Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. Pray, pray, pray. That's giving God glory. So that's awesome so that was a great story i really enjoyed that our big week coming up this week today one of my favorite days ever in the history of the world no <laughs> not not ever but closer <laughs> my top five today is say national Lord's birthday pancake day <laughs> whoa you do love I pancakes, love pan pancakes Pan and waffles i'm in he completely is. in so with that pastor guess what we have huh our thumbs up thumbs down uh oh this or that or yeah, thumbs this up or, thumbs this down this or that thumbs up thumbs down Whichever, Here we go. Yeah. And crew, you guys got to get involved in this with us as well. And you at home, go ahead and post online if you're watching us on Facebook Live. Go ahead and post your, don't give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Say yes or no, maybe. I don't want a thumbs down because then it looks like it's bad. Anyway, our first one, pancakes. Well, bananas, bananas foster. foster. Ooh, yeah, I could do oh, that. Absolutely. I mean, bananas. Yeah, what? Well. I got a couple yeah. thumbs down. Bananas and cinnamon and yeah, I could do that. That's a <laughs> great pancake. All right, next. Pineapple upside down pancake. Nope. No. <laughs> I'm nope. in on all of them. <laughs> I, just, I love pancakes. Wait, everybody slums down uh, but me. So I'm the only, oh, my wife and I. My wife and I'm not inviting anybody over. <laughs> all right, next. I'm choking, sorry. Carrot, carrot cake. cake. Oh my goodness, yes. Carrot pancake. No. Come on. <laughs> it's like carrot cake. Carrot cake, carrot cake, actually. Cake. You're right. Not a pancake. pancake. Nope. Is a cake in a pan. I can do pan. that. Nobody I wants. I can do that. Nope. <laughs> All right. 
I think oh, the man. dust has gotten me. I mean, me. Okay, no. <laughs> Sorry. I'm here. I, I love spinach. <laughs> no way. Steven, nobody is going for your spinach pancakes. No way. That doesn't even That's count that, as a savory. They're, they're green. That's I couldn't right just turn to you because of the color. <laughs> All right, was that our last choice? That's oh, no, no, there you go. Got hot it. chocolate. I don't even get it. I don't thumbs get every, it. Oh, we got thumbs up from I everybody. I don't get it. I don't get you it. You don't get what? Hot chocolate pancakes? But so is it? Oh, it's just the hot. Okay, wait. Okay. Everybody I think hot pancakes. chocolate is like. It's hot like, chocolate melt. Like, like a. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Gosh, so what's the difference between like a brownie underneath all, you know, and a pancake? So, anyway, I'm in on all of them except the spinach. I don't know. Spinach that's thing, weird. that Brain. doesn't even count for a savory pancake, so that's just. Weird. All right, what else do we have coming up this week, honey? National. What Johnny, is it? Johnny Appleseed, Appleseed Day. This is an what amazing story. This Today is really Johnny Appleseed Day. Do you guys even know who Johnny story. Appleseed is? Leo does. Leo's the only nerd other than me <laughs> that would know that. <laughs> You're Johnny waiting for this day. <laughs> Johnny Appleseed was a real person. Here you go. Pastor, he's born in Massachusetts. Whoa. Here you go. John Chapman, born in, what is it? Leo Minster, Massachusetts. He became known as Johnny Appleseed, and of course he planted apple trees all throughout Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Indiana, Illinois. Northern West Virginia and Ontario, but here's what I wanted to bring forward today. He was an American legend. Why? Because he was a missionary and he actually preached to the Native Americans and they regarded him as someone who had been touched by the Great Spirit. What? Well, yeah. Yeah. Come on, no he was a missionary. Way. Johnny Appleseed was yeah. a missionary. Anyway, yeah. he wore pauper's clothes and of course he's famous for wearing a tin hat that they say he actually did. He would also use that as his cooking pot. So a lot of people thought he was a poor pauper, the way he dressed and everything, but he actually was extremely wealthy, owned over 1,200 acres across three states. So he was preached a, the gospel. Wow. I mean, missionary. that is beautiful. I so what does the National Day do? It just recognizes so, Johnny Appleseed. We eat an apple. I don't know. <laughs> plant an apple. I plant, we'll Most plant people are apple. believers that are trying to cling on to that one piece. <laughs> so why does the world care? You know, because well now well, they care because he was an environmentalist. He wanted to oh, help yeah, and, you true. know plant the or right. he cared about the earth and so yeah he was you know, way Why would a believer care? Earth. Because he helped propagate the gospel and expand and the kingdom. And his name was an apple seed. No, it was John Chap. Oh, John Chapman. Chapman. And they called yeah. him Johnny Appleseed. All right. So. Because anyway, he, hey, I like his, that he was a missionary yeah. evangelist. Of course. I think that's awesome. All right, coming up later oh, this you're week. Oh, you gonna love this. This is a surprise for you. International Podcast, Podcast Day. Whoa. Uh oh. Friday. So this Friday. This Friday, International Podcast Day. Here's a couple of podcast facts for you. We were talking about this the other day. I'm like, how many podcasts are there? There's got to oh, be man, you so know, many. thousands and thousands. Over so Stephen did some research. Active podcast. Two million plus. Over. Yeah, two plus. Fifty-seven percent of the U.S. population has listened to a podcast. Forty-one percent listen at least once a month. The global usage is up 42% since COVID hit, which of course we have people locked up at home. And I love this little graphic on the right-hand side, the little pie chart that we have for you. Where are people listening? At home. Half the people listen at home. At Isn't that home. crazy? I That's thought it'd be during the commute, you know, while you're in your car, when you would normally listen to the radio. No, people sit at home and listen to podcasts. Well, we listen to yours in our car right. on the way totally. home to the office. So, I mean, we and it's if it's not on, we're like, ugh. So skip all the other. I think million. moms. Not to just be that way. I do think moms listen all the time. I know we have a lot of moms oh, yeah. at home school and they love. That's it. true. Or getting the kids ready in the morning and they're listening. But yeah, that's wild. Who would have thought, right? Yeah. So if speaking you, of podcasts, there's yeah. one right there. Look if at that. If you're looking for podcasts that will really feed <laughs> you, you then go to you engage put heaven, a couple Pastor reviews on? Yeah, we got the reviews. Yeah. Yeah. Five star, fresh words. Babe of four. <laughs> Babe of four? Oh, do you don't know her? You no, know her. I don't know who that is. Well, she has four kids. All right, babe. Yeah, that's it. There's a probably a homeschool Love mother with four kids. Love engaging heaven. Listen every morning, and the podcasts are good. A good way to start your day each day. Here's one that says a fresh word. Thank you for blessing us Aww. with fresh word that stirs the heart. Let's stay on the offense to keep advancing the kingdom of yeah. God. Come on, come that's good on. Stuff. That's good, awesome. Good stuff. That's awesome. See, I don't know about all the other two million podcasts, but that's the one we listen to. <laughs> Yay. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. All right. Also, we've got a busy week this week. Coming up tomorrow is okay. the National so Day of Forgiveness. <coughs> national Day of Forgiveness. Don't forgive that TV practice. <laughs> Why we have to have a National Day of Forgiveness, I'm kind of surprised because we're supposed to forgive everyone. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's not a good one. I mean, one. it's yeah, like, yeah, no, 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 but... But Some if, bitter person wrote that. Well, <laughs> well, this day of year, I better let it one go. Day, one okay. day out of the year, I'm going to forget. <laughs> no, you know what, though, for us, 
because we really, I mean, we forgive. You you forgive constantly. You're always walking in forgiveness. I mean, God forgave us. We walk in forgiveness. I, I looked for a ton of scri- scripture, and we actually wanted to see how many times forgiveness or forgive is in the Bible. In the New King James. Oh, hold on. The oh, the drum roll. we got to give oh. people a chance to take it in. Crew, A, B, or C. Sorry, so I was going to get How many times is it mentioned? How many yes. times is forgive, is forgive in the New King James? In the New King James. 207, 43, or 102. That's tough. Drum roll. Yeah, see, I already knew. It is 102. Is it 102? 102. And you know what's interesting? There's a lot of it in the Old Testament. But, of course, you know, we're, I'm looking for the New Testament. But I found one that, I mean, of course, you know, look at Ephesians. Look at all these. I found one that I loved. I just, I hadn't read this one in a long time. And it was Psalm 86, 5. You, Lord, are forgiving and good abounding in love to all who call to you. So, so I just, oh, you, Lord, I yeah. love that. So, and he is, he's forgiving. So I just, I thought that one was like a good one for me today. I had other ones written, but I should have the that. other one. How many times did Jesus say to forgive in one day? Seven one day. times 70. Seven times seven. Yeah. yeah. 490. I feel you, if you need national forgiveness day, you ain't living right. <laughs> Probably, you have right. a national day to actually recognize it and acknowledge. Wait, maybe I should forgive today. Jesus said, "Forgive 490 times every single day." So there's your national day. 490 times a day, forgive. That's beautiful. I think but that's so just important. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, if you don't forgive, it just it sows that wrong seed into your heart. And you, anyway, we don't need to go down that. But man, yeah, just forgive. So much easier. It's so it's such a it's a gift from God to give us a way to teach us how to forgive because when you forgive you're releasing yourself you're releasing someone else but you are being blessed by God because that's what he gave us he taught us how to forgive mm-hmm. I mean that's just oh goodness it's just oh, it's so good so Don't good. carry it. not worth carrying it over carrying it on nope true all right one more day we have a very special day coming up Thursday, talk National about a real day. Coffee Day. <laughs> that's a day to celebrate. <laughs> Forgive every day, 490 times, and National have coffee every day too. Coffee day. That's where you go through some stats at. Yeah. I only have one, and I didn't put a graphic for it. But what do you think the number one coffee request is when ordering any place, any drive-through, any place like that? The number one requested coffee. America or world? <laughs> United States. Uh, would be probably cream and sugar. It's actually a latte. Oh, yeah. I would think it would be just a black awesome? coffee. Oh, you mean a type of coffee, yeah, yeah. latte. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Latte, huh? number yeah. one. Not a flavor, not a drink, drink, just a latte. You know what's really crazy is um, when, you know, we obviously there's a huge coffee store we all go to that very brought lattes to the forefront from Seattle. But we had a one of our board members was working in Seattle, and they were going around to say, do you want to put $10,000 into invest in this new startup? And it was a latte. And he was like, what's that? And he's like, oh, it's a latte. It's a European drink for coffee. But, And he, he turned him down because he said, I just wow. didn't think there would ever be a market in America for someone paying $5 for a coffee. Ooh. Isn't that something? Woo! Talk Look. about missed opportunity. Ouch. Missed that one. <laughs> you drink regular coffee. You're old school. Like yeah, we drink black storm. coffee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah, we drink Any black latte coffee. drinkers in here? No? I love having a latte. No? Crew? But one. no oh, flavor. Yeah. I don't do flavors. I just like the latte. With milk? Yeah, just with milk. I Crazy. Just, I don't, yeah, I'm not a flavor. I've had three today. So, yep. and what is it? I've had my black coffee, though. I kind of did do black, a switch over. Black, Yeah, I'm we boring. really, just you know what, though? We don't drink it. We drink a pour over. And a pour over coffee drink is so different because it's not Have bitter. you ever had a latte? Yeah. Well, you've made them for me. You've uh, made them. You just don't choose it. Is it because it's a money thing? No. no. You just want your black coffee? No, I just want black coffee. I don't want the calories. That's why old school, I drink. I think, I think that's what I grew yeah. up on. Car drinking. Yeah, that's what I grew up on when I was young. Well, when I, I was drank, working. I grew up ki- drinking cafe con leche. We started the morning off. That everybody got the giant mug of coffee, and we filled up. And that's just what you did. I, if you go to Italy or, or Europe, they do like um, cortadas, and it's right. basically two shots of espresso with a mm. tiny bit of milk, but it's in a cup. Right. It's like a shot glass. It's demitasse. Yep. Yeah. And then in uh, in in. In Venice, Italy, they put a Nutella ball in it. Chocolate, what? yeah. Really? I didn't know that. Oh my so goodness, good. that's funny. 
Coffee is coffee a... We should have made some... See if our set wasn't destroyed. We right over here and today. make some coffee. Yeah, if you drink Cuban coffee, I mean, that's like mail. a... <laughs> you have your tetanus shot. Be careful if you yeah, walk around the street. Yeah, be careful. There's absolutely need to set up a little coffee machine. Yeah, we will. Well, once we redo the set, we'll... When the studio's completely redone. We'll celebrate with making coffee. At the coffee. church, we started cold brew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People were okay. Remember, I was teasing you coming with your coffee. Yesterday, we started serving lattes. We saw and that. And light almost sold out. Yeah, we saw Our that. European friends. Oh, there you go. Off. Number one. Yep. Number love, one order. Love, yeah. Except for me. I'm going to... I'll be my own black coffee and drink it. a latte for me is like dessert so when you get when you've sure. made a latte yeah. for us it's been after dinner and yeah, it's, it's to me it's sweet. like a dessert i love that so fun all right fun, speaking fun. of we're tying everything in here our theme for today we is podcast so hey yep. let's talk about pastor's podcast which yep, we, already mentioned we listen to every morning but his devotional which of course you can order on amazon right. or i know it's available we talk about it every week but it's <laughs> available at every store you can imagine uh, but we encourage you to pick it up. It is such an and encouragement. And let me just say this, because this is a live show. Uh, and next week is the women's devotional. Oh. Which I already have. Oh, you do have. I do have. <laughs> do you like it? I love Which it. Which one do you use now? Both. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, how can you but not But it's not just because it's me. These weren't number one on Amazon. No, these are amazing. Know. They really are amazing. They're really incredible. So, so today, grab yours for today. There we go. Monday. Uh, September 26th, right? That's yes, today. that's today. Danger of low expectations. The scriptures, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The enemy wants us to lower the bar, lower our standard, and settle for a place underneath where God's calling us to go. The Bible says in Mark 16.15, go in all the world and preach the gospel. It doesn't say, hope that the world visits the church and gets saved. Somehow we heard bring the world into the church, but that's not what Christ said. We must go into all the world and not just the parts where we feel like going. We must be careful whom we're around and whom we're fellowshipping with because they're either going to bring our expectations down or raise them. Make sure you're around people who raise your expectation and challenge you in your faith. Shed the mindset and the thoughts that hurt you and keep you down. Choose instead to soar to new heights in God and attempt great things for the Lord. The greatest days are still ahead of you, so reach for them. And believe for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Really oh, good. Come on. I love that. You know, the Bible says, man, I have so many thoughts. The Bible says mm -hmm. that, that, you know, uh, bad morals corrupt good company. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it almost sounds like cliche, but the reality is who we spend our time with matters. So Who's true. speaking into your life matters. These people are either adding to your life or they're taking away. And you get to choose. That's the craziest thing. Like, I remember seasons of my life where my, I looked around the room and went, I can't, this isn't taking me where I want to go. Mm -hmm. And fast forward, I was talking to a business owner at our church yesterday about, you know, because this week I was on some major Christian television programs, and then I was, like, doing some Hollywood stuff with A-listers, and I feel inadequate in these rooms, right? These men have, you know, they've pioneered Christian television, and, and they're Hollywood A-listers, and I look at them and go, man, I don't even feel adequate, mm -hmm. But, but yet that's what God does. He brings you around yeah. people mm -hmm. who, who like stir you for something greater and pull you higher. That's and exactly. I'm happy to, I want to surround myself for life mm -hmm. with people that are like, that have great faith. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise you're going to fall down to whatever expectations mm -hmm. around you. So good. You just said something so powerful because there are many times people will compare themselves to someone else. And they compare themselves in a negative way. Instead, let it, like Pastor James said, stir you mm -hmm. to do more, to yeah. want something greater from God. Because He lives in you. He has That's poured right. Himself into you. And so our nature now as a new creation in Christ Jesus is to do everything you can for the gospel. Right. It means love people wherever you are. One of my favorite places to lead people, Lord, was for years was the dry cleaners. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I get to go to the dry cleaners and just lead people to Jesus. But I think that the biggest thing is know that we are there to be a part of expanding the kingdom and loving on people. But if you're around somebody that you compare yourself as lesser, that is not God. Yeah. God would want you to recognize that he lives in you and that is for you to have a greater hunger. And by the way, if I'm gonna do a little plug here, if you really want to feel that fire and the hunger of God, get his book on Revival Fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. 
And then look at yourself in a way of how can I do more for the Lord? How can I do, not that he needs us, but right. we need him yeah. and we need to stir ourselves up so that we are filling the commission of the gospel by bringing people into the kingdom. It's like, I, like he said in this, it's not because we want people to come. Yes, we want them to go to church to grow up, but we don't want them to just have to go somewhere else. We be that. We bring the kingdom mm -hmm. to them. So, but our expectations in getting around people that stir us for more for the kingdom, that's why Pastor James is our pastor, because it stirs us to want to do so much more for the kingdom, and that fills us. It, it keeps us feeling like we're walking in God's fullness, because that's part of feeling his presence by always extending the gospel to others. Well, I, could just I think say, I was just all over the place the just a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 you're absolutely right on. I love that you said the people that you surround yourself with, the environment. Yes. It's so important yes. who you spend time with. Like he said, you're with the A-listers, that encourages you to go to a higher level. Mm -hmm. When you dig into the Word like this, it encourages you to share your faith, to go to a higher level. Um, what you read, what you watch, what you listen to. We had Catherine Mullins on those oh, songs earlier. Oh my beautiful. gosh, what an anointed, anointed worshiper. And her husband was on the keys on that second. Wow. David was playing the keyboard. Um, like Lori said, they traveled together, just a strong marriage. But we had we got to spend just a few minutes with them, not a lot of time, but just you know, just a few minutes real with them. Real people. Amazing. Oh, amazing, oh, real, real people, people that were probably more concerned about us than <laughs> you know everything else going on. They, when when we were with them, They're everything attentive. was focused on. They wanted to know about us, know They're who we are, know yeah. what the Lord has done in our lives. Just precious, precious people. And that's the kind of people you want to surround yourselves with. You want to surround yourselves with listening to that kind of worship. You have to really be careful with what you listen to, whether TV, radio, even, you know, supposed worship songs, things like that. But you want to listen to that pureness, that, that righteousness, that purity, people like that. And that's why I loved it. And we wanted to feature her on today's show. Um, just amazing, amazing people. And that's what you want to surround yourself with. You want to surround yourself with the sounds of heaven like that, with pastors that are going to hold you accountable and mm -hmm. preach the word of God and, and draw you to a higher level. So, um, yeah, start your day off with reading the right thing, which would be things like this, listening to the podcast, getting into the word of God. You know, the Bible, Paul said that you have maybe 10,000 instructors, but not many fathers. And I think there's just such a need for godly mentors out there. So, you know, I was in a point where I had to pray for mentors, and you've done that to so many people in the church. So ask the Lord. He'll give you mentors and surround you with healthy people. So important. So Absolutely. Important. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us today. So Stay good. tuned every week. You're going to see the remodel of the studio eventually maybe we'll have a coffee bar and actually get to have some coffee we will. when it's not coffee we'll national it. coffee day but thank you so much for joining us we always pray for you and we'll use the bible third john one two beloved i pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers we love you guys god bless you see ya have a great week it's gonna be a great week <laughs> what a genius move